Hey guys, Nightshade here. So, I have a question. Why is it that people seem to believe that they can be disrespectful inside the workplace just because they get the label of a trainer, but they aren't paid the same as a trainer? See, I'm trying to figure this out because about a 17-year-old came in today to work. Work, and normally I have no trouble. I just trying to stay in my own world. I'm fine by myself. He was upset at the rush, all this stuff, because I work in fast food right now. That means that at a certain time, we change from breakfast to lunch. Now, when we do that, we kind of do get a little bit of a pileup because we have the last few breakfast orders we're trying to fill, but we're also trying to stop the lunch orders. So it gets a little more confusing than it probably needs to be. So what had happened is, is that I just... I think he's so young he doesn't know how to control his mouth sometimes. He's the type of... He... At 17, I couldn't control my mouth, so I kind of understand that. Sometimes you don't think when you say something and it just comes out. When I'm at work, I purposely use the fact that my brain is completely empty and I don't hear anything to just be silent. I will listen, hear, but I ain't gonna say anything. I ain't gonna fight you. Okay, don't care. Go on there to make money, not be these managers' friends. Which kind of is confusing to have a group chat, but they still won't let me join the group chat, even though the group chat, chat is about work. I don't know. These people make zero sense to me. But what had happened is, is that I had, is that while I was filling out an order and trying to cash out someone, he started yelling about something and something saying this and that. So I had, and we had a DoorDash order. He was freaking out thinking we had four, we needed to add in four of an item. And I told him, no, this is a different order. He refused to listen to me and just started saying, fine, do whatever, and really getting upset. I had made a complaint at first because he was just shouting a lot. Then I actually asked, and then I actually, in front of everyone, asked the DoorDash, hey, could you do me a favor real fast? Could you please check the order and make sure there was no hash browns in there? I need to make sure we put them in the bag. She went and checked, no hash browns. So I said, thank you very much. I turned to them and said, yes, that is a different order. This one had no hash browns anymore. And so he got angry and said, fine, whatever. I said, okay, I'm just going to know him. Let's do my job. Don't care. After that, he started shouting as I was cashing out the next customer, who actually was just a regular customer. And he started shouting about it, saying, blaming me for all these parked cars and all this stuff. And I said, I understand we're in a rush, but you don't need to yell. His answer was to turn his back to me and say, maybe if you effing helped. Now, I don't know who needs this lesson, but... The key word that is in every workplace, even most corporate buildings, is respect for co-worker. That means that no, you don't have the right to cuss at them unless you're their direct manager. And no, it doesn't mean you, you can accuse them of not doing any work. We're in the middle of a rush. We have five people standing at one window. I'm trying to just take cash and I'm trying to tell you that that is a different order. Do not blame me because you refuse to listen. So at that, I straight up asked, I straight up walked away, and I went to the store and I went to the acting store manager. I told him what happened, and I told him how I will not have anyone disrespect me that way. So he went talk to him, made the coworker come over, apologize, apologize, then he asked me. You are only here till 1 today. Do you want to head on home? I said, yes, I would like to go home because I'm really upset right now. Unless you can put me inside an area by myself. And at the time, they couldn't. But they had someone who could do the back area so that we could do the cash out back there. So up front is just taking the orders. So, that's what they did. They put her back there. They asked me to just refill up the whole thing, stock it. And I, I'm then head on home. So I did. But I'm not upset by the fact I got sent home early. I could care less. The only one who got, they asked me if I wanted to go, and I said yes. I don't care. That, uh, that, if that hour and a half I lost, that's on me, not anyone else. And I understand that. I ain't bitching about it. <laughs> but, it's the fact that someone thinks that even, and I mean, it's more the respect thing. 
It's the fact that someone thinks it's okay to just completely disrespect another co-worker because you're going to accuse them, one, of not working when they got there at 7 a.m. and you did not come in until 11, my friend. So don't yell at me. I've been there since this morning. Unlike you, I was there dealing with the morning rush. And two, thinking it's okay to swear at someone all because you are you can't handle the rush. Yeah, I don't understand people. I really don't. I don't understand why it is people think that they can be disrespectful just because they're friends with a manager. I've been friends with managers and unfortunately it doesn't change anything. If you are rude, if you are disrespectful, they don't care. Because then it becomes a question of, is this person going to call corporate in HR on me? Are they going to do that? Because if they do, then both that associate and that manager both get called back. And there ain't no one protecting you at that point. That manager is going to throw you underneath that city town bus faster than anyone else. Because they did not want to take that situation seriously. And I mean... I am happy the managers decided to step in and took care of the situation. But I don't understand this whole entire talking to idea. I have watched so many times I've made complaints about people who are stealing, being rude to customers, disrespectful at Walmart. Every single time I heard, I'll talk to them. I'll talk to them. That does nothing. You are not teaching them anything because they are not learning. I can tell you for one week they are going to be a good person. And then another week later, magically they're back to the same person they were when you spoke to them. Because I don't understand this whole entire talking to idea. If someone does something that bad, I mean if someone's screwing up like putting out stock or making the food or being a little slow, yeah, that's a talking to. That's fine. But if someone is physically breaking a policy or rule, no, it's not a talking to. It's a write them up because in reality, they need to learn that lesson. And if they don't like it, then they will find a new job. But in reality, if you keep just talking to them for everything, no one is going to learn. And it's just going to be the same circle, same circle, same circle. And it's so annoying because then the person who is getting mistreated physically doesn't want to work there anymore because you pushed them into that situation when now they don't even feel comfortable coming in. So how is talking to one person just so that they don't fucking care and listen and making another person just not want to show up? That just creates a bigger problem than if you just sat down, wrote them up, told them this is your first write-up. Do it this many times more and we will have to terminate you. They are going to take that ten times more serious then they will that little talking to. Because they see that talking to as you being their friend. I don't understand why managers think that way. But maybe you guys do. Let me know down in the comments. Bye guys.